attitude went about a hundred degrees. It shouldn't bother you, cause it don't bother me. Don't you attract lots of things like the paparazzi. Cause I'm so sexy. I show it. Flaunt it. 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 Yeah, I got it. Don't you wish. Don't you wish. So, you know, with so many music artists uh, getting into fashion now, mm -hmm. Diddy, Jay-Z, mm -hmm. Mark Anthony, mm -hmm. J-Lo, yeah. what would you say um, that people tend to overlook when they're trying to come into the fashion industry from another industry and they're not familiar with the internal workings of fashion? I definitely know that whether it's music or whatever industry it is, what people sent, begin to feel that it's just easy is they start with t-shirts. I'm going to start with me some t-shirts. I'm going to put a nice logo on it because that's how Puffy started with the t-shirts on the street and a lot of other brands. And what I'm saying, excuse me, I have a thousand and one t-shirts <laughs> to choose from. I have 550 logos to look at. I need you to start somewhere else somewhere unconventional. And you know what? Don't always think clothes because we are very accessory driven. Oh. We are living in a technology world where there's tech, tech fashion now. Mm. We call it wearable art. So there is a whole trend now and there will be what we call cyber style. Wow. With fashion on the square. There will be a segment of tech fashion. Okay, let's get creative, folks. Let's not do what we were doing in the 70s. So, Technology, you can, you can have an accessorized watch. Mm -hmm. You may have a tie mm -hmm. that has a clock on the inside, I don't know. Okay. You may have just something from, the, maybe the shoes. But think accessories, because accessories are completely missed. They, most people go straight for, the, straight for the clothes. It's not like you're talking about functional. There's a functionality yes. to these things. Yes, there's a now, functional wear. I would say, and you know, I don't know anyone who designs fashion, mm -hmm. but it seems like there would be some skill, uh, there would be some uh, craftsmanship involved with designing functional fashion. They don't have to have that skill necessarily because most, I won't say all, but most big celebrities, mm -hmm. it's their name they're using, which is really in someone else's gotcha. doing a lot of designing, but that's not for all of them. Okay. Some of them, Jay-Z is at the table. You'll see videos of him in actually looking at patterns and no switch down like this color. He's actually there. And I'm not saying um, Puffy is not either. But functional, it's the idea. Okay. And that's where the patent comes in. That's where the royalties come in. As any invention, okay. you get that okay. patented idea down. Yes, yes, yes. And your checks, checks, checks. So it's not necessarily... I mean, how many pairs of jeans can we wear? Things. So what happens when somebody says, I've designed some things and I've heard of fashion on the square. I would like to be part of this. What is the criteria? What is the selection process for that? Do you have a website? Can we start there? Okay. I have so many talented designers who show me amazing clothes. They don't have a website. Okay. At the bare minimum, because fashion on the square, because we've been so fortunate, we are now attracting Africa. We had a designer come from Africa and she stayed here for almost a month because now she's in the States. She's going to work her way around, right? Okay. New York is coming to the table. Atlanta, Texas, Philly. It amazes me how I have less of San Francisco and the Bay Area oh in fashion on the square. Mm. These people are traveling in. Mm. Why? Because they want to get in San Francisco. But here, I can't get... Where's the website? Where... Even a Facebook page. So you don't even have to pay for a okay. website, right? Okay. First is a website. Then a collection. So no, don't show me five t-shirts or five I need a collection. Gotcha. At the end of the day, either you're a couture designer where you have one garment and then somebody sees it and then they go, you make it for them. Right. Or you have a store where somebody go, wants to buy it. For fashion on the square, ideally... I love a store. Why? Because after Fashion on the Square, I want you to say that in the next week, it all sold out. Gotcha. It's hard gotcha. from a couture perspective mm -hmm. because th those are one-offs, which are great, but those couture designers are also doing ready-to-wear now. They get it. Mm -hmm. Their couture, 
that one piece, but they're also doing ready to wear where they can go to Macy's or wherever in the buy. So the first thing to be a part, and everybody thinks, oh, E and I just choose it. No, I'm not. There's a team. Gotcha. There's a team that looks at the submissions and yes, no, maybe so. But what do you say to the people that um, who are really good? And they, they're very creative. And maybe they've even created this functional fashion that you speak of. But they don't, they don't know the fashion business. Because I'm imagining that it's probably similar to the music industry. A lot of people are creating, but they don't know the business side of it. Mm -hmm. And so when it comes to commerce, marketing, and promotion, that part of it they haven't paid attention to because they've been so busy in their lab. Are the parallels similar in fashion? One of the things I found is that some of the most creative designers are creators and they don't have the business side. Okay. I do not say, go to school, go to school. I'm a, I'm a huge educator in terms of education. I love education. Yes. But if you're not going to do that piece, that business side, I need you to have someone else doing it. I need you to stay in the studio, design with somebody, anybody, somebody, your mother, your brother, your right. sister, your, your spouse, your loved one to have that business side because with Fashion on the Square, when you come to me and I'm like in awe of your designs, you have the website, you have some product placement a couple places, mm -hmm. you're doing good, you never done, who's your target audience? Because if your target audience is not, Fashion on the Square has a target audience. We are individuals, men and women, primarily between the ages of 22 mm -hmm. to 55. Mm -hmm. Our demographic is about, I would say, 60% European and the other 40% and the European being between that 25 and 55 mm -hmm. and the other is a mixture of the African American community, the Latino community, the Asian community and, the, and then the, the melting pot of San Francisco. So you have the breadth there right. that are able to buy. Right. At the same time, if you have no business side um, of the whole designing business, you can come to Fashion on the Square you can get some great reviews, and then when people begin to approach you to buy, mm -hmm. it's a flop because you're either not returning emails, you don't have an infrastructure in place. Guess what? Wow. The Chris Chris uh, Chris March, mm -hmm. the winner of Project Runway, several years ago, was in Fashion on the Square. We honored him. He said Project Runway, him winning Project Runway, shut his website down because he got so many hits and requests. The infrastructure could not handle it. So you don't see it coming. And trust me, Fashion on the Square is about to come. So if you're right. a part of Fashion on the Square, you have to be ready for the influx. Along the lines of you know, music artists trying to get into the, um, the fashion industry, because you are very much aware of the fact that most people now who have a deal or have a television show is going to create some kind of fashion line. So you're talking about this infrastructure, being able to support and promote their artifacts, their creations, yeah. right? So what is it besides having the website, having a place for fulfillment, being set up from a business standpoint, what else do people tend to overlook in these situations when they migrate to fashion and they try to make a name in that industry for themselves? One of the things that I know you, you and I are very familiar with is our EPKs, mm. okay, electronic press kit. That's almost like the bare bones of any, any start. And that electronic press kit, as we know, is a picture. Mm -hmm. Can I get one picture? Just one picture. <laughs> a bio and a picture or a scenario or, or something of your collection. I need to see what you're doing. That's at the bare. When you wake up in the morning, at the bare minimum, you got to have a press kit, an electronic press kit. Not a press release, a press kit. Well, you know, we're arriving at this point and the uh, conversation where I like for my guests to discuss crash course tips. Specifically, what I would like to know from you is um, three things or a couple of things that you can tell people that will really help them if they want to get into the business of fashion. Think about what do you do very easily, mm. just very simply. What comes very natural? Because, of course, we don't want to work hard. We want to work smart. <laughs> we want to work smart. So I'm going right. to work at what I already do. What comes very easy? And it's not always being a designer. The designers, the big houses, what I call the big house, the Chanel's, the Gucci's, they have designers. They have a crew of individuals who are actually putting those looks out. It's not necessarily 
them per se. Think about working for a big house. Is there anything else that uh, you would advise people to do uh, who have uh, fashion aspirations and people who perhaps want to design something and they're thinking about, okay, so she said don't do t-shirts, she said do functional fashion and they're like, okay, well, I had ideas of doing all the things she said not to do. <laughs> you know, what would you tell those people who are like, man, I was about to go ahead and order a thousand t-shirts, you know, what would you tell those people now that they're thinking differently? I am on all the time and I'm beyond, oh, I'm passionate. How, how tired are we at home? <laughs> If I hear somebody else say, but this is my passion, okay, and next. Give me something more. I need something more. Right. It's beautiful that it's your passion, but I need you to be a little bit more smarter about that as well. Okay? Yeah, so yeah. definitely watch, be online, and read. There's a lot of gems in read. there. Read. Hmm. Go back to the fundamentals. Reading is fundamental. Well, you know, uh, and also watch this video. <laughs> Right. Watch, watch this, this video, video because it will have a lot of valuable information and insights. Yeah, it will. And I thank you so much Yay. for your time today. And I'll see you at Fashion on Square. No, no, we, Gian, if you're not on that front row showing them how to dress. Oh, yeah, you'll be the fashion police. That's what you're going to be. You're going to be <laughs> blogging after. And this is a no, no, and no. Well, I'll be there and I'll be telling everybody else to come too. I love it. Thank you so much thank for you having so me. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. About a hundred degrees. It shouldn't bother you, cause it don't bother me. Don't you attract lots of things like the paparazzi? Cause I'm so sexy. I show it.